Hey guys, alright, so today's gonna be a very quick video. I actually got a request. Someone was asking me, how do we do symmetrical posing in DAS? So you'll notice when you come into DAS and we start posing limbs, uh, we basically only allowed to select um, and pose one side at a time. You'll see that I can actually select both of these arms at the same time by holding down control. But if I bring or try and navigate uh, this rotate slider, the other side doesn't move at all. And you don't really see any uh, symmetry options over here, but I'll be showing you how to do that. It's really simple. Uh, and just remember when you're doing symmetrical poses, usually the only thing that you can do symmetrically is the arms and the legs, because uh, obviously the torso, if I have moved this and maybe the torso has twisted a little bit, that's obviously not going to be pasting uh, symmetrically, right? Uh, the arms will be in the exact same pose, but uh, this a rotation here by the torso is going to remain like that and then you'll probably just have to adjust it uh, to make it a little bit straight okay but anyway let's go undo that now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, when we're doing a symmetrical pose we want to be posing one side of the body because that's what we're going to basically be mirroring over to the other side and like I said this works with the arms and the legs so uh, what I'm basically going to be doing here is just do a quick pose I'm gonna try not to uh, you know move the um, the abdominal region or anything here in the center uh, so just quick basic pose lift that arm up with the leg let's move that back and maybe bring oops and bring this up just to show you okay so uh, there's two ways we can do a symmetrical pose. We can basically choose to create a mirror of this entire body and mirror that over to the other side. Or we can select individual parts of the body and mirror that to the other side. So I'm going to start off by showing you how to mirror this entire pose as we see it right now uh, to the other side. And uh, you guys can also work in the front view. I think this is more of a flat or like orthographic view. Maybe that's a little bit more accurate for you guys. I'm actually going to leave it on that for now. And then to do symmetry, you just go to Edit, Figure, and there's the option right over there, guys. There's, there's the shortcut key, Shift-Y. So I'm going to click on that. Oh, okay. Action requires a bone or figure within the scene to be selected. So you can see I haven't got anything selected. So I'm just going to click here, which would basically be like the root. And uh, if you look here in the parameters, it shows Uma. And this character is Uma, so that's an indication that the entire character is selected. You'll see if I select individual parts, we've got right collar or thigh. So again, click in the open workspace and then like just click in the center, which is like the root, and it'll select the entire character. Then go to edit, figure, symmetry. And here we go, guys. So the nodes, nodes uh, selected means if you've got an individual piece selected, the root, as I said, would be the entire character. Uh, propagation. We want to put that on recursive. Now I use this for if I'm posing selected or root. And um, from other tutorials, this is related to selecting child uh, properties or child elements within uh, the rig or something related to that. I'm not entirely sure, but I always put that on recursive. Uh, the direction is related to the direction which the character would be facing. So we just got a front view actually put it on perspective. So this would be the direction which the characters facing but when we looking at this uh, face on uh, basically left to right would be inverted so it would be right to left so we want to mirror the this side onto the other side so I'm going to put that okay back on root recursive I'm going to put my direction on on right to left like I said if you're looking at it straight on it's inverted and then trunk nodes is basically the direction it's going to be mirrored on so we want to mirror across the y axis so you'll see that red arrow across the y-axis and then as soon as I click on accept it'll go ahead and there we go it creates a completely symmetrical pose uh, nothing's been altered here by the abdominal region or moved anything uh, by the center origin so we've got a completely symmetrical pose so I'm going to undo that and now to do an individual part uh, let's go ahead now I'm just posing the shoulder as you can see over here All right pose the shoulder and we'll even pose some fingers just quickly pose some fingers again just so 
is some kind of variety. It doesn't really matter what that pose is. Uh, but there we go. And now when we when we using selected, you notice that when we did root, we selected the entire object. But selected, when we select an individual pieces, we want to select the highest uh, piece with that limb. So for example, with the arm, the highest piece over here would be the shoulder. And with the legs, the highest piece would be the thigh. All right, because again, the symmetry works with arms and legs. So I just want to uh, create symmetry with the arms. So I'm selecting the shoulder. There we right collar. And then I'm going to edit, figure, symmetry. Nodes, we leave it on selected. And uh, propagation, we put that back on recursive. The direction is right to left. And the trunk nodes, I think you only use trunk nodes when you're using root. So we can actually leave that alone. And if I click on accept, there we go. The shoulders being basically created with symmetry to the other side. So yeah, that's the basics of uh, symmetry, guys. And if you just wanted to do the hand, uh, again, this works for, well, let's see, if we just want to do the hand, um, but obviously we could just pose the fingers and then do it from the shoulder again. But I think, I think you can also just pose fingers. Let me see. If I'm just posing fingers like this and I select the entire hand, right hand, um, I think I can also go to edit, figure, symmetry, and then selected, recursive, right to left. And yeah, okay, so it works like that as well. I'm not entirely sure if you need to select the highest point, but um, that, yeah, actually, most of the time I usually just select the shoulder because I want to basically cop copy over this entire piece so you can see over there I worked with an individual area which was just the hand and uh, I'm sure you can do that with this as well like let's rotate uh, the forearm over here so uh, you can see right forearm bend so if I just want to do the forearm I've got the forearm selected and then figure symmetry a selected propagation recursive right to left leave alone and yeah there we go so symmetry is really easy to do in dares guys uh, that's how i would go about doing it again for the arms and legs really simple and i hope that's been useful all right so thanks for watching and stay tuned for some more tutorials goodbye